Hello everyone, my name is Lucas from the MG. Today is a special video because today we won't be actually filming anything, but we're actually doing a Q&A of if we actually were popular. So, uh, we here, here we have uh, Ezra. Oh, uh, no, we have Levi, who is Representative Morgana, the main evil character of the MG episodes. And we have Ezra, who is... Ezra. All right, on with the questions and answers. First question. What is the daily routine of, I'll say, a filming day? Okay, so um, for us, um, usually me and my brothers will come back from school and we'll take a break inside for a while and then we'll, when we're ready to film, either our friends Lucas and Grace will knock on our door mm -hmm. or uh, we'll knock on their door and then we'll get the camera out and the costumes if we need some, which I usually always wear a costume. Um, mm -hmm. Because I don't know, I yeah. just like costumes. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so we'll get the camera ready and all of that stuff. And that doesn't usually take too long, but before that, we sort of have to improvise. Now, we don't actually use scripts, which for us, I guess it's just easier not to use scripts. It's better just to improvise as we go along. In fact, most of the MG is actually just improvised. We kind of had a plan, I guess, for what we were leading up to for Harrison um, when I killed um, my cousin Caden. Mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> um, and, he, and he killed you first. Then you stabbed him. Wait, no, he stabbed me. And then, well, he just, well, I guess I didn't really kill him. Yeah, for, for filming, we just sort of make a quick plan and film along with that. Every time before we do a scene, a scene we'll say action, usually. That's probably why you'll hear, I'm usually the cameraman, I guess. Otherwise, it's just the tripod that holds it for us. And sometimes we'll have, um, uh, somebody else uh, hold the camera. It's usually me who like does the camera angles and stuff. And um, every time before we do a scene, we do like one, two, three action stuff. So you'll that's probably why you'll hear my voice uh, before every scene, just like with the last because <laughs> I I can't cut that out. It's just because you know it's very <laughs> it really echoes. So um, and then uh, that's like for. The, the scenes and then usually when we're done filming which is whenever we have to go inside or we just feel like um, we're done filming mm -hmm. and the episode is has a good ending and stuff we don't really plan that out either <laughs> um, then we'll stop filming and then I'll go inside and start editing either the day after or right after we film I'm the editor for the episodes and um, then it just goes on YouTube and that's basically just a daily routine. It's not very specific. And when usually when our cousins come over, we film an episode two, like Caden and Mila and Sophia Troy. Well, so now oh. my, I would say my routine for the MC is I always have to go up to my brother's room, grab the dagger I got in. Well, this is a pretty new thing. I always have to go to my brother, my this brother's room, to grab the dagger, like the golden dagger that... Merlin said I had to find to destroy the ring. So you always have to go up there to get it because he brings it into his room. Because, I mean, I know it's kind of his, I don't know. So yeah, it's, so yeah, I get back from school, go into, like, you know, like play mine, some Minecraft. Then after, yeah, we're allowed a half an hour, then you have to get off. Then we start filming, maybe, sometimes, and then I have to grab the digger, then we start filming, so yeah. All right, all right. Thank you, too. And, um, second question. I'll go first. Uh, all right, all right. Second question. Um, I don't think you've actually mentioned our ages in the episode, so what are the ages of the MG actors? Like, I'll just say eight. Um, 
I am, I'm not actually going to say my age, but, you know, uh, yeah. we're on public YouTube, but I am in middle school, and I'm in grade 7, so I'm in my teen years, <laughs> um, and I am one of the oldest actors, me and Lucas are the oldest actors, um, yeah. and Caden is the second oldest. Well, you are the oldest. Yeah, I guess so. Um, so, yeah. Um, Caden's the second oldest, because he's, of course, King Arthur. And, yeah, the, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 okay, okay, makes sense. Um, third question. Oh, this one's gonna be a tough one. So, I'm not insulting the MG, but like, there's a lot of episodes. There's, I'd say they could make a whole and more than two movies added up together. It might be tiring for people to watch. So, could you briefly summarize the lore of the MG? Or if it's, or just a few arcs? Um, I could try to make Yeah, this is gonna be a really tough one. A basic summary, but there's like a lot of episodes. So we have, Seriously we have five time. seasons of the MG, and then we have the Realm of Fallen Heroes. Yes. I, I think. So technically, six seasons, if you you count the Realm of Fallen Heroes. And we're not including um, the Bell Witch, or like the, um, yeah. the Legend yeah. of the Predestined. Yeah. That is mm -hmm. a separate thing in itself. The Realm of Fallen Heroes has the same characters from the MG. Um, so, basically, uh, the storyline starts with us. We... We go to Vancouver with our cousins, um, uh, Caden and Mila, and we head off to, uh, Stanley Park, and, um, we find a ring and a rock, which, uh, destroys, like, the bridge, and, like, there's fire on water, <laughs> as weird as, and then these tentacles attack, and basically, eventually, um, we, we come back, at it, and then we, we investigate the ring, we know magic is real now, and we're telling Soham that, which kind of slowly includes all our friends. Um, I'm the first one who finds that I have magic, which then eventually the word spreads, and um, all all of us know we have magic powers, and we're divided into three tribes. And the storyline kind of goes along as that, and then um, I slowly start turning evil. At first, I'm good. Then I turn evil because Caden, uh, well, um, he doesn't like. Uh, Cerulean magic, because there's a Cerulean Jaren and um, Nazi tribe. We know he doesn't like Nazi magic. He, he doesn't like Nazi. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna correct um, that. Yes, excuse me. Um, and so yeah, uh, I turn away from the rest of the cousins. I'm evil. Uh, Grace goes on my side. Eventually, Jotaro finds Lucas, and they are teaming up to destroy the relics. They're kind of like, I guess not neutral, but they're like the diff they're very difficult characters. They're not mm -hmm. necessarily good, and they're not necessarily. So, um, it goes along like that, and then we have the first battle, which is, like, Act 31, uh, which is at the last episode of Season 1, um, and I get banished, I think, I return somehow, um, I think it was a tree that yeah. I was stuck in. it was a tree. And wait, 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 I, I, gotta, I gotta get close up on that tree. Yes, right there, that was the tree. I got trapped on the other side of that tree. Yeah, that actually, tree. actually, we should do a tour of the whole ride. Oh, yeah, yeah, we could do that later. Yeah, we all do that at the end of the video. Yeah. Oh yes, we should. But we should make that a separate video. I call being the tour guide. <laughs> <laughs> How about um, we both can be tour guide? Yeah, I guess. So, um... What? Um... Oh no, yeah, so... Yeah, the episodes carry on. Grace eventually turns away. She just wants to be a Nazi, because I'm kind oh, of Oh, so can you turn the camera to that tree? Oh, we already, already. did that. No, Wait. we're doing the, the Q&A right now. Yeah, we do later. So, um... We, we eventually find all the wands, blah, blah, blah. We find Excalibur, um, and then we move on to season four, three, three we go into Camelot, and find, uh, like, we, we get to see, like, Camelot Castle itself, and meet all the actual, or like the people we're predestined of, like Morgana and King Arthur, and then, um, we go to Harrison, I return again, because I've been killed once again. And, 
then, uh, Caden kills me, Caden dies of weakness. Um, Sophia becomes queen. Season 5, uh, there's a memorial, and then, for all, all the people who died, Mila dies too, she becomes the Lady of the Lake. Um, and, uh, yes. And, Lucas resurrects me, and, um, then we have the Realm of Fallen Heroes. We get teleported to a different realm. We meet Grace's sister, Haran. She's kind of the guy dancer of the world. And that's, like, basically a brief summary. Interesting. Yeah. That's cool. So, I mean, I guess barely ever, I would no. say. We do get into debates quite a bit. Like, oh, we should do this. Or, like, no, I think this is a better idea. Or, like, we do have to debate quite a bit on, like, what the episode's going to be about. So we do get into minor fights, I guess. I especially get into fights with my brothers, like, sometimes, like, Jethro or Ezra will just storm inside in hatred. <laughs> um, if I'm, like, somehow annoying them or getting into a fight with them. And so, yeah, I guess with Jethro and Ezra, like, or sometimes I'll accidentally hurt one of my brothers or somebody will, like, need to take a break from filming or something. Um, and yeah. Um, I think one fight I remember us getting to is who's the leader of the filming, because I remember, I think, um, I guess to some people it, sounded, it kind of felt like I was being the leader in a way that I was, like, filming and, like, kind of directing some parts, which I'm working on definitely, um, being a little bit more free with other people's ideas and accepting, like, you know, because I feel like sometimes I can get a little bossy. Um, but, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, uh, last question. Is the MG ending soon? We do not have any plans at all for ending it. Like, I feel like we still have a lot that we can do. Alright. There's a lot of possibilities that could be done. But I think because some of us are getting older, we're slowly growing out of it. Um... I don't think I ever will, personally, <laughs> um, but I feel like some of us will and eventually just get bored of it. I probably never will. I'm, I don't feel like I'm stuck with that wood, which I think, I'm I feel like I'm going to be sad, like, when everybody else grows out of it. <laughs> and then, like, we just, yeah. So, um, I think we're planning on, like, kind of a, a stop to the series. <laughs> um, maybe... Some, we kind of have like a, a big plan to end it. Well, not, not to end it off, but like just to, I don't know, like take a, while, a break and then maybe do some other things for our YouTube. I'm not going to spoil that yet. Um, but yeah, that's sort of, I guess the best answer I can get for that right now. But I would say like, I would also say one thing. We yeah, have had the YouTube channel for the MD series for already a, like a year, like a year and a, like maybe a little bit more. Yeah, like yeah, if the, our very first video is already like a year ago. Yeah, uh, more than a year ago. Oh well, yeah, like maybe like a month or two, like no. a year and a two months. Maybe. Yeah, I guess that's the best answer for that right now. We don't really know. Yeah. Okay. Wait, what um, month did we start in? <laughs> Before we get into a pre-conscious debate about when we started, I would like to thank you two. Remember, this has been interviews with Lucas and we're interviewing L Levi and Ezra from the MG. Now, now please excuse us as we give you I'll give you guys a special exclusive tour of the MG area. Yes.